I repeat for the recording today, we are reading Vilap Kusum Anjali, verse 68. Harupa Manjari Shakti Pranayena Devim Tvat Bahudata Bhuja Valarim Ayatakshin Paschat Aham Kalita Kama Taranga Rangam Dear friend, Rupa Manjari, when can I walk behind you when you lovingly... Yes, very nice. And you can repeat. Yeah, okay. Yes, please. <laughs> My dear... Okay, okay. Oh, my dear friend Rupa Manjari, when can I walk behind you when you lovingly take wide-eyed goddess Radhika, who is immersed in waves of desire, to the play grove that is decorated by Sri Hari? as she holds her wine-like arm with yours. Oh, my dear friend, Rupa Manjari. Well, I still see addressing Rupa Manjari, who is her Guru Manjari, as dear friend. I was wondering, what kind of intimacy is already in this first line of this verse that she calls her Guru Manjri my dear friend Rupa Manjri? This already signifies the Sambandha, the relationship Tulsi has with Rupa. No, Karanga Sundar? Okay. Now, when can I walk behind you? Again, here, I feel it's a very important significance that Tulsi is meditating, praying to Rupa Manjari that when can I walk behind you? So if we walk behind somebody, then we are much more attentive and careful to that person, we're much more observing his or her movements, her steps, her jingling, <clears throat> her waist, her blouse, her dress, her ankle belts, her bracelets, everything is much more attentive to us. So here I felt that this is the proper way for a dasi to always be behind her Guru Manjari and Swamini. This is what our Gurudev always says. We have to be the shadow. We have to walk behind. And uh, from behind, we can always observe and be ready to take the service, <laughs> what is needed. Maybe Swamini loses something on her way like her ornaments, then quickly we can be there and pick it up. Right, Gurudev? Mm -hmm. So when Rupa is taking lovingly wide-eyed goddess Radhika, here I was feeling wide-eyed means her eyes are so big open. So where is she heading? When eyes are open wide, that means there is a fixed goal Someone is going to a fixed direction, and we know where Swamini is heading to. She's heading to the play grove, which is decorated by her Priyatam, personally decorated by him. What excitement is there in Radhika's whole body and her eyes? And she's holding her wine like arm with yours means Tulsi is watching, is viewing how 
Radharani is putting her vine-like arms around Rupa. Means so much support she needs right now because she's on Abhisar. She's walking to the grove, to the Kunja, and she knows that her beloved is waiting there, who has personally decorated the Kunja. <clears throat> so, before we continue, I was just feeling one. I was just feeling this. Um, Gurudev always tells us about Sambandha, Abhideya, and Prayojan. These three very important components in our spiritual practice is to know our relationship with our Ishta Devi, to know the relationship with our Guru Devi or Guru and also know the process, the Abhideya, like what is my position as a Dasi, as a Manjari. And what is my goal? What is the prayojan? And I feel this verse beautifully exemplifies all three aspects. And um, maybe Gora Chandra or Goranga, you also want to add something on this, the three aspects, how you feel about that. Yes, Gora Chandra, please. I'm thirsty to listen to you. Me too. I was so thirsty for one and a half years now. Please quench the thirst. We are starving, Gauda Chanda. You embarrass me. Sri Dade. When we wanted to start this lecture today, there was a very special atmosphere here in this room. Like a silent excitement that we are now coming close to read and listen something very important. Like we say something like little electricity is in the air. Excitement, attentiveness, by going closer and closer to something important that will happen now. I felt like that. And when Gopinath was reading this verse, and I see the wide open eyes of, or oh, I listen that now, the wide open eyes of Radharani is also very attentive, very uh, in expectation to see something important. You can see the focus or the excitement you can see in the eyes but you cannot see it in the ears no? the ears not become bigger <laughs> but still I felt when we before the lecture started our ears became a little bigger already no? Ah, now it will happen soon and then very special thing happened that so much disturbance appeared. The recording was not there, the, the translation was not set, muted. somebody entered, then it was muted. So there was then distraction coming and we could not start. That was like a confirmation that somehow We really have to focus that it can happen. And very easily, distraction always can come. And 
Radharani, when he's, she's going to Abhisa, she also has her eyes wide open in expectation. And Manjuris also have their eyes wide open. Also, they expect something special to happen. They always are searching for something that I can do, searching for service. And same time, the eyes are wide open out of ecstasy to see Swamini in her condition. So the eyes wide open has many meanings. <laughs> Yeah, and it's so beautiful. This picture is given that I'm behind my Guru Manjari. Guru Manjari is there and Ishtadev is also there. Ishtadev, Radharan. It's everything in one picture is there. Thank you. You are in a very complete picture, actually, which is in front of our eyes and minds. This verse really, um, I was telling to Gora, it has all the ingredients today. <laughs> so, um, I if anyone has any feelings towards this verse, it would be, I think, very nice to, to, to share and hear. Like, um, we have, I heard Suniti did this voice. I know Janandaji is there. I couldn't see Gauravani or any who has a feeling to this verse. It would be so nice because I feel it has, I feel this aspects of Sambandha, Abhidea, illusion very beautifully. Combined in, in my humble feeling and opinion, but it would be Can nice. I copy to... now? Yes. If I, yeah. if I may uh, share some feelings. Actually, I want to ask Oranga Sundar, I want to say thank you or whoever chose the verse. But I, because when I read it, I read it a few days ago and I thought I have to keep it for the next session. I have to, you know, because this verse is really, it has a lot of Shakti. Like Aura Chandra already shared so nicely how we all feel excited. And I was thinking, yes, the life of a mandrari is really very exciting. It's unexpected and exciting. What to speak of Radha Mohan, they are always excited to me. And Gopinath, you said so nicely, my dear friend, why my dear? Because we are so close. We are like one. And I checked it in the Sanskrit, it is pranayena. So the relationship between Rupa Manjari and Raghunath, uh, uh, Rati Manjari is pranay. It's this intimacy, what you expressed so lovingly. And, you know, then I think also we are so gifted. We have this intimacy also now in our human sadaka dehas. What to speak? when it will happen in our spiritual senses. This closeness of pranay is so, un, you know, it's. I think it's probably difficult to express with words. But once Ananda Das Babaji in his purport, he said that pranay is when you feel oneness. And this oneness expresses in different ways. When Radha and Mohan are, are having their pranay, it is like they don't feel difference from each other anymore. They are touching all of their limbs and they think it's my limbs. So pranay is also that stage of relationship where we are not feeling any much difference, even from our Guru Manjari and also from our Swamini. And that's what makes this 
uh, atmosphere, I think so, uh, what you said, electricity, you know, like full of electricity. It is the, the very closeness of our relationships, what we have with Swamini and with our Guru Manjari, with Rupa and Rati, when we do uh, go on Sab Abhisar, on the meeting place with Swamini. And what I also found so interesting or exciting in this verse, Swamini has these eyes open. Of course, she is attentive. She is excited. I felt she is like in a trance. <laughs> she is so much in Samadhi because her beloved Mohan has been decorating the kunj. This is a special um, uh, mood. Because sometimes Swamini is decorating the kunj or the mandaris, and then they are not always 100% sure if Mohan will come. Because, you know, there's many, many obstacles for for innocent boy like him. There are many snakes and many uh, dangerous animals in the forest of Rindavan. <laughs> but now this time, Mohan is waiting. And Swamini is in full ecstasy or trance. I feel trance with the eyes open. Very, very large eyes. She is completely, uh, she can't wait to meet him. And she is uh, stumbling. Her gait is like that of an elephant. She is a little bit also, you know, her walk is not so steadfast. She's, she can fall at any moment or step on anything that is unexpected. So the Darcy is there behind like a shadow. They are ready to catch her and to guide her and to hold her, her little, her little uh, waist, her thin waist. And they are very much uh, always watching where I can um, hold my Swamini. And I remember I want to share when I was, um, when Dovinda uh, Mohini from Russia, she was in uh, Vrindavan. And we were sitting with Gurudev in front of Radha Mohan and we took a picture. You know, sometimes we are so stupid, we always want to take a memory and a picture. We are very much external. But Gurudev, I have the picture today. He was sitting there with his big wide eyes open. He was not even noticing us. He was completely immersed in Radha Mohan's Leela. And he was really looking like this. And, you know, we were, we were trying to make a picture and we, we think, good, Dave, smile. But he was sitting like open eyes and completely in another dimension. So I felt this is also the state of Swamini. She is not where she is. She is already with Mohan. She feels he is waiting. And like we know, our Swamini, she is one-pointed. She will not let him wait. There is no obstruction in her way. She will, you know, uh, hold the heads of the snakes. There is no, no way that anything can obstruct her. And she is ready to meet her beloved. And I thought this is the excitement maybe. Gora Chandra, that you also felt, and I am very excited to hear and listen also from Gurudev and all of the Vaishnavas. Jai Shri Radhi. Oh, Suniti Didi, uh, you're like uh, magnifying the excitement now. I just felt this when I listened to you, how safe Swamini must be feeling right now when Tulsi is supporting her, uh, no, but Rupa is supporting her. She's putting her wine like arms around Rupa. And Swamini knows that behind is Tulsi and all the other manjuris are there, like, you know, forming a circle and carrying her to the Kunja. Like, you know, when a person is drunk, you have a good friend who drank too much in the party. You remember maybe those days. And you have to bring that person back home right or to the bus or somewhere and you know how it feels to carry that person no the, uh, knees are shaking uh you know he or she's talking in funny ways and 
So I just felt like Swamini is also intoxicated as Suniti said because she knows that Sri Hari, Sham Sundar Rasik Shekhar today decorated the Kunja. So it's going to be a very exciting Milan. And uh, so she's already drunk, but she has her best friends who are carrying her from left, right, behind and giving her the support. And uh, what you feel, Gopika? in this moment I could feel it yes I can feel it everyone I felt inspired to share from this verse because as Gorachandra pointed out it's written that Swamini has wide eyes and I know that uh, our saints, they always put, they don't put random words in a verse. So I was trying to meditate. Why is it saying wine like arms and wide eyes? And then it came to me that our Swamini is on Abhisar. So it means she's dressed all in white. And her whole body is covered in white so that she will kind of disappear into the moon rays of the night and she won't be discovered by anyone. But out of that whiteness, there are two things that stick out. <laughs> These are her golden wine-like arms that she needs to hold herself and her eyes. And so she knows if she will blink, then her, you know, her eye, the top of her eye is golden, that will show. So she has to keep them very wide open all the time so that you only see the whiteness, the whiteness inside her eyes. <laughs> and, and the the black spot can also disappear into the night. Her bluish and the black, that, that can also, but if she will blink, then maybe someone would see her because they would see something golden. And Rupa has to hold her vine-like arm because that's also golden. And she needs it to hold herself, but she's very worried that Somebody can see it. So the Manjaris have to hold that arm and cover it so that it won't be visible to anyone. So this feeling was just coming to me. Very very uh, electrified. <laughs> oh, very beautiful. Thank you. Swamini is immersed in waves of desire. We haven't uh, looked at this part. Immersed in waves of desire. She's Madanakya Mahavav. Now she's immersed in the waves of desire. I feel we need our Guranga Sundar Bhaya here to come into the picture. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't feel complete how she immersed in these waves of desire. Goranga, Moli to help You choose these words. <laughs> and I'm so grateful to you that you choose these words. She is embodiment of love. She is embodiment of greed. She is embodiment of passion. She is embodiment of all emotions which are existing. So when someone is like this, it's naturally that she is completely out of madness for her beloved, because she is embodiment of this rasa, which is exchanging between her and Moha. And like you said, 
Gopinath, this is in these verses I can also see these three main points Sambada, Abhideya, and Prayoja. So this beautiful Sambada is present in relationship between Rupa and R Radhika. But also, like you said, this Sambada is also present in relationship between Tulsi and Rupa Manjari. And like Sunitiji said, Pranayini, oneness between Rupa Manjari and Tulsi Manjari. Yes, this oneness is only possible in Swarupvesh. Because this level of prema, pranaya, is something which material body cannot experience and cannot attain. It is possible only in spiritual body, bhava deha. And because spiritual body is bhava deha, it can attain the stage of pranaya, oneness, complete oneness in a pure love, pure feelings. So, when Raghunath is saying here, he is saying Rupa Manjari, he is not saying Rupa Goswami, my dear friend Rupa Goswami. This is the difference. When he say, my friend Rupa Manjari, he is revealing his Manjari position, that my Guru is my dearest friend. There is no better friend for me than my Guru Manjari. So, in this words is present this Sambhada, but also Abhideya. What Rupa Manjari is doing, she is serving Radhika, Abhideya, serving by holding her with the hands. For the hand and supporting Radhika. This is Manjari Seva to support Radhika. And this beautiful word is, is so sweet because automatically brings Lila, sweet Lila, with sweet words. And this Abhideya's devotional service is so prominent in the existence of Rupa Manjari. She is supporting Radhika. We know that Krishna is supporting because from the Shastras, like a Supreme Personality of Godhead, He is supporting all material and spiritual world. But who is supporting Him? His love. Radhika is supporting him with all her emotions and intense, passionate love. But who is supporting Radhika? Her beloved maidservants. They are supporting Radhika. And not even that. They are supporting each other. Because Tulasi is going behind Rupa Manjari. And in that way, follow Rupa Manjari, but also supporting Rupa Manjari. This is friendship. And this position Tulsi Manjari likes so much to always assist to her Guru, Guru Manjari. And in that way, but assisting, she is always taking the shelter of Guru Manjari. And finally, we are coming to the point of Prayojan, like Gopinath said, when 
When can it happen? Prachodayat. I am praying to you. I am praying to my Guru Manjari, my best friend. I am praying through these words. That one day it becomes true. This is my goal. And Raghunath, who is Prayojan Guru, is showing actually what is the goal and how to attain that goal following the proper path. And not even that. Behind Raghunath are also other Manjaris. And also we can say sadakas, because during the listening, these words, during the meditation on these words, we are going behind all this group of manjaris who are running together with Radhika. And we are going behind our Guru Manjari. So we sadakas are relishing through our ears, Gora Chandra said, through our ears and also immediately our eyes are opening. Because this is fascination. Astonishing. And the words of Raghunath are the best decoration for our ears. Earrings, we say earrings. Yes, the words of Mahajans are Sadaka's best ornaments for their ears. Because they are melting the heart. And this is our own, only support, not my own sadhana. My own sadhana is useless. But my only support is the words of my Gurudev and our acharyas. I'm trying to decorate my ears with their words, with great hope that one day this prayojan, when, will come true. So you inspire me. You're, this is your fault, Gopinath. I'm sorry. Yeah that I speak about Sambhada Prayajana, and I didn't think about that before. <laughs> me neither. Radha, Radha, Gurudev. Me neither. And, and the main, main culprit is our dear Gurudev, who has infused this kind of uh, madness in our hearts. So, Rupa Nuga, I was just thinking when I was listening to you, how to explain to somebody Rupa Nuga, then from today onwards I can say verse 68 is explaining what it means to be a follower of Rupa. <laughs> also, there is this beautiful um, uh, conversation between Radharani and Tulsi in Vilakusumanjali, where Tulsi says, you know, I need you for my existence, but you also need me when you're going to the Kunja to meet your Priyatam, you will also need me there. This is our prayer of our hearts that, yes, Swamini, we need you to exist. Otherwise, existence is pointless, right? But you will also need me there. Please, you know, take me. And Gurudev, what does it mean that we are walking behind why are we walking behind Gurudev? Why are we not in the front? In the material world, we always want to be the first to reach the goal. But here we are behind Swamini and Guru Manjari. Gurudev. Because Guru Manjari is going, so always we have to behind Guru Mahatma. And sometimes only Radhika is alone there, then we go front to take care of that. Because 
राधा रानी इज नॉट वरीड अबाउट द रोड एंड द डिफिकल्टीज फर्स्ट वी वर्क ऑन दैट टू चेक वट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ द रोड एंड हाउ डिफिकल्ट muddy how much muddy is that and everything we check before she is going to bed so and when guru manjari is there to which guru manjari is always there when she is present then we always walk behind guru manjari and you will also need me i need you to say saying guru dev yeah to exist but you will also need me there how can we understand this guru dev how can this help us that swamini also needs our small seva like we are so insignificant small but she also needs us there like guru dev how can we understand this is always uh, i said 12 and 12 is 24 but half when is at it will come 12 and half so she say you need me to win you need me there to win your side i am very important because for winning my support is important i will support you where you need me in the service in kunja so you hide me under the bed that you need me so you hide me there when you require you call me out and i am also worried about you that when you will need me i am waiting for that moment so they are so close like a shadow of original they cannot live without a shadow cannot live without original and original agis the shadow is there if the original is not there there is no shadow so radha shadow is my name i need because i am your shadow and where you will go i, I have to go with you because i am your shadow my existence only is because of you and you need me because when the pranay will start pranay means the subject come in morning also and now also come pranay means play pranay is a play pranay is a game pranay is exchange of happening is pranay in divine couple what is happening that is prana like a chulan yatra this nice pulling down to the branch and when he radhika want to catch this na again leave that branch so she lose how to catch it 
Sometimes she carries the branch, then Krishna leaves the branch and then she's what you say? Children swinging, swinging. swinging in the air. <laughs> so this happening is a pranayam. What is happening it in between them is a pranayam. And what is happening with the Radhika and Manjari is also happening is pranayam. Should we start with the commentary? Yeah. Or something? Commentary? Start? Yeah, I felt that we are not there yet. Now you can see here that we are so absorbed that there's no disturbance coming from outside. <laughs> so peaceful here. Feeling is like in Shriva's Anga. Door is locked, nobody can enter. Inside only people have the same mood. And we go together to Brata. So today I was listening in the morning in the Russian lecture, some part. And I don't know, Damoda Devoti, his name? Damoda. He used one word. It was the desirable incompleteness. He said. And I'm thinking about that. In connection with Radharani's wide open eyes. Suniti, she explained so sweetly also that Radharani, she already is completely absorbed. She perceives him everywhere with her wide open eyes and with the whole of her being. So the absorption is always complete, but because it is ever fresh, it can never be complete. This, the thirst for more and and uh, being convinced that for sure there will be more excitement coming. It is ever growing. It is ever fresh. But at the same time, it is always complete. So it is both. The wide open eyes are in complete absorption, perceiving him everywhere, all the time, totally complete. But at the same time, there's always expectation that something new and something fresh is happening. So this is when we listen that is drinking like nectar and poison at the same time. And this thirst can never be quenched. It sucks you, it sucks you forward and forward. As closer you come, as more separation you feel. <laughs> so that's that is the desira desirable incompleteness. <laughs> Completely absorbed, but feel never satisfied, never complete. I have to be more near, more close, more intimate. Mm. 
and this will never end and that causes the madness we desire. That is the only thing that that I feel attracted to, becoming mad. That is why I like this. <laughs> Gora, when we now read the next line, your de incomplete desireness will be beautifully exposed. Sri Raghunath Goswami now arrives at the description of Sri Sri Radha Mohan's midday pastimes. Sri Raghunath's state of divine madness simply increases because of the intense pain of love in separation he feels. Sri Raghunath. Raghunath's state of divine madness simply increases because of the intense pain of love and separation he feels. It's as Gorachandra, you already felt what is coming now in this commentary. His Varupa wish is his only support. That means that when this state of madness comes, it's only possible to tolerate bear it in the Swarupa wish. I'm asking loudly, hoping for some response. Only Swarupa wish. Mike, Mike. Only Swarupa wish. Is that? is never satisfied. If this satisfaction comes in desire, there is no desire. It is nothing. It increases, greed increases for the more services. There is no satisfaction that I do and I become happy. That is the key when it's never satisfied. What Narayan Maharaj is telling about greed is never satisfied. It grows on and on in my selfhood. Material desires are different. It can be satisfied with because it's small things, material thing, but a spiritual desire is never satisfaction. It's greed more and more happy. That's a greed. So, Guru, the no question. This is, this is complete contradiction from what we learned before. We learned from Bhagavad Gita, material desires can never be fulfilled. And if you become spiritual, you are satisfied, everything is fulfilled. You will be eternally happy. But now here, we listen, ah, material desires can be fulfilled, that are small things. But spiritual will never be fulfilled. You will never be happy. Greed will always increase. So now what is the truth and what you want? You really want that? There will, we will be never satisfied if we go that way. We have to decide what we want. Guru Dev, we please give advice for happiness. <laughs> This is the that we are never satisfied. <laughs> this is the this more increase, man. 
Every moment is the new and fresh. Every moment is a fresh. Greed is there. If the I am satisfied, is no meaning of service and love. Is a rasa, that rasa vicha. One is tattva vicha, is a rasa vicha. For that, one has to become mad. Otherwise, only mad person can do this. <laughs> Normal person and never want to do that. Normal person is saturated. Normal person is mad in the material greed and desire. And they can be happy when small desire is fulfilled. Oh, I am so satisfied. I am so happy today. Okay, okay, okay. But there is no satisfaction. More desire to do on This is the intense love. Sri Guru Charane Rati. Yes, sir. See, any lover's life, they never satisfy. They are drunk. Lord Ms. Sundar, continue. Chalo. Let's, let's move. His Swarupa wish is his only support. This for this only support is for this only support is our self. That my greed is never satisfied. This is the only support is myself, is myself. If this want to be sarup based to in, improve and increase, that is only support. Uh, so since many, many lectures and shows are always speaking about the importance of giving, and when we hear this kind of kata like now happening, then maybe we realize that to be there, we need, we need our spiritual body. And Narayan Maharaj so beautifully writing always that the only thing you need is greed. You don't need to think about you are qualified or not and you have this and that and your material. No, what you really need is only greed. And you realize that it's so beautiful, but I only can be there when I have my spiritual body. I need that. Then we are on the right path. When this feeling is coming, then, then hope is there. Radhe Radhe, can I say something? Taro, Hayo. I just came in, so I thought maybe join it. Uh, and it was so beautiful to hear Gurudev and Gopina talk about this line. I was just wanted to share something which came into my heart from Baba about this line that Radhika is actually saying, I need you. This is so beautiful. I love that. I love that line. And Gopina was asking Gurudev so nicely, why is it that Swamini uh, needs us as manjaris. So I find this is the most beautiful thing, actually, because honestly, we all know that Krishna is Atman, Atmaram. He is completely satisfied in himself. And also, of course, Radhika in the Tattva is satisfied. But in Leela Kata and in, in Rasa and in Leela, the manjaris are expansions of Swamini. So, so they need us to enhance their lila. So this is actually 
their most wonderful gift to us jivas that we can actually enhance we can be parts and parcels of that enhancement and their beautiful beautiful lila and this is also a form of very very wonderful compassion i just wanted to share that aki bina lila pushti na hoy no in chitane chat with this something like this term so beautiful that gives so much hope i feel yes. that yes yes we are somehow needed like bringing her on this path when shamsundar is waiting at the entrance of the kunja you, know, you yes. know this is this this is this paradox you know they are completely satisfied and happy in themselves but on the other side you know it's like krishna knows everything he knows everything which is happening but due to this uh, uh, uh yoga maya he also doesn't know everything so otherwise how can he enjoy lila so on one side of course on the tatva side they don't need us but on this beautiful beautiful rasa side they need us very much because the mandaris are enhancing and expanding the lila so much and this is the pride also for the mandaris that they can fulfill this position and and help the divine couple in enjoying their their lila even more jai gurudev jai baba shri radha tarun yes come yes when i listen narayan maharaj he say always we are rupanuga right we are not raganuga rupanuga why is it? you know because we don't know about rupa this is the point means we don't know that we are manjari sadhana that's god we are rupa nuga because we have to practice manjari sadhana you notice te in raga anuga in mother jasoda love relation and to this he is trying to say that mother jasoda friend relation not we are the manjari of radhika so practice rupa anuga because we don't know mahaprabhu is radha and krishna we think that krishna, mahaprabhu is krishna i also searching this in anandas baba ji why not he is telling rupan and you will find nowhere much rupan why i was researching this why not because in braja dham who, who do the practice of anandas baba ji sadhana who always like to be in understand mahaprabhu very clearly that krishna is Chaitanya Chaitanya, they know very well that Krishna trying to take the mood of Radhika and cover with Radhika means he want to practice Manjari Bhav. In Western world, difficult to understand this. In Vrindavan Braja Bhav, very easy to understand this. that raga anuga is rupa anuga wow so you see anandas baba ji no where he writes rupa anuga but every place rupa go swami and rati manjari is out there 
तीनों से इसे रागान बट द स्पेशल मर्सी ऑफ नारायण महाराज ही स्वान टू मेक अस रूपानुगा ट्राई टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड रूपानुगा यू आर मंजरी यू आर मंजरी यू आर मंजरी बट आई सी even his disciple not practice this and nobody understand they they go in the philosophy and so he was trying to bring rupananda mm. so ra um, anandas baba ji always say raganuga because they know they have to practice because uh, is a rati manjari talking is there will have to so manjari without guru manjari rati manjari will not go what you will say rupanuga or not gurudev <clears throat> gurudev i want to thank you from my heart this is such a wonderful explanation you are the best this is the wonderful explanation baba baba doesn't need to say it because it's clear Thank you so much, Jai Radhe. <laughs> It's so clear. It's clear. And Baba never mentioned this. And mercy of Narayan Maharaj, he wants to hammer this, but nobody understands this, and nobody practices this. He hammerly telling, "We are not Raga Nuga, we are Rupa Nuga." Why he say? that not to stay there we have to be manjari we have to be manjari we have to be manjari we have to practice in manjari bhav so great mercy <laughs> baba ji also he mentioned all this clearly that gaudiya means rupa manjari bhavsan mm. this is gaudiya so then in the gaudiya tradition baba ji is ananta radhakun they don't need to mention outside of gaudiya gaudiya means manjari bhavsan so then they can t- easily talk about ragama Ragamak means manjari, manjari of Sarana because we are Gaudiya. That yeah, is the meaning of Gaudiya. This is meaning of Gaudiya. Yeah, that we are not doing this. Then how we say Gaudiya? <laughs> What are we understand Chaitanya Charitamrita? What we understand? What we understand? How we will understand the Sasra? impossible without become in a spiritual body how i can understand divine material body we can practice and to understand this divine kapal gurudev they don't even understand each other fully they need the manjaris to help them to understand Are they Krishna not understand himself without her energy? Without his energy, he don't understand himself. See the Bhagavad Gita, ten fifteen. He, he Arjuna said this: You not understand yourself without your energy. Why God? And I want to understand Krishna. What a crazy idea we have without Radhika! How I will understand? <laughs> When it, uh, my vision will open? When Krishna cannot understand himself without his energy, and I want to know Krishna without his energy, without Radhika, my God, <laughs> how it's possible? What is the energy of Krishna? Right, 
सुनी थी Dai Hogu is so wonderful so sweet and so lovingly you are telling I especially like this Hamily telling yes Narayan Maharaj was Hamily telling and even Emily now everyone Emily. is forgetting Emily. again the hammer what it when you will understand but understand this is rupanuga it's not is same raganuga raganuga means some practice you are doing that oh i am raganuga bhakta rupanuga rupanuga not is same raganuga and in vrindavan mahaprabhu bhakta is raga raganuga means rupanuga you see that you yourself see that there is any one line without radhika that gurudev i just for one moment want to stay with this helplessness of krishna of mohan but also radharani is helpless without the manjuris because when she's walking on abisar and mohan is standing outside of the kunja sweating shaking waiting anxiously for her to arrive but as gopika described swamin is totally covered in white she's blending with the moon rays nobody can see her and then when the manjuris take her to the kunja gurudev she stands in front of him but he cannot see her he's not noticing that she's there and in that moment tulsi or rupa takes swamini's hand and puts it in sham sundar's hand this is the moment where the manjuris are the most needed because both radha and mohan are really lost in love they are so blind we say no love makes blind and here they become blind and the manjuri needs to put the hand in their hand so that they can enter into the kunja yeah so i just wanted to take this moment because darun inspired so much when he said that how much the manjuri is needed and good if you said this is rupa noga gobinath <coughs> yes bhai on gobinath this is so beautiful um you know we we talk this we, we are touching now a very very deep subject you know everyone is talking about unnato chwala rasa swabakti shriyam but actually what good if just said and what you just said that is unnato chwala rasa swabakti shriyam that radhika needs the manjaris because without the manjaris there can be no no nikunja lila so this is the unnato chwala Rasam Swabakti Shriyam. This is this is really the peak and the zenit, and this is the real understanding of the highest rasa the jiva can experience. That we are in the position to help the divine couple to perform the nikunja lila because without manjuris there can be no nikunja lila. There can be no the sakis are not there. So who is there? This is this extraordinary gift. what mahaprabhu came to give us that is unatochvala rasa swabakti shriyam that we can be that part who helps the divine couple enjoy the lila in the nikunjas this is utterly wonderful and like good if said without understand we can we cannot understand krishna without swamini but the, the manjari bhav sadakas they don't want to understand krishna because they only want to love swamini jai radhe ja love makes blind goranga <laughs> they are blind what to do they are blind with open eyes i ho i like it i like it what gopika didi said huh? blind because all this white is up they are so much in trance and then they don't even notice when they are in front of each other <laughs> amazing this is a pagal pagal situation even when is the dark completely another lila is when it's completely dark 
and everything is dark. All dresses are dark. So, only light from the heart when appear, they can recognize themselves. So this is the beauty of Abhisar. But also Jiva is very thirsty for Abhisar, own Abhisar, my Swarup and my Ishtadev. Like Radhika is running to Abhisar for Mohan, Ragunath is running to Abhisar, to Radhika and her Mohan. We Sadakas are also desiring very intensely also our own Abhisar to run after them. And this Sar, Guru Dev says so many things like a flow, but it's also going. It means going, running. Sar means also something which is moving. Moving where? To Abhi. To be close. To be close with my beloved. So this is my Jiva Abhisar. And this greed is coming, like Guru Devi said, greed is not, spiritual greed is not coming from the material senses and mind. This greed is coming from the soul. This is so wonderful, brother. So wonderful. The Chivas Abhishar is actually going from, from Sadhana Bhakti to Bhava Bhakti and then to Brahma Bhakti. And you said so nicely that Sara actually means, has many meanings. Sara means essence, Sara means lake. And when you change Sara, it gets Rasa. So our journey, our Abhishara is going through the stages of Bhakti with only one thing there. And this is what Gurudev always says, this Sara, this essence of our journey, the essence of our Abhi Shara, like you wonderfully said, come closer. And this Sara are the lotus feet of Guru and, and, and the Swamini. This is our Sara. This is our Stai Bhav. Gurudev, I was just thinking, when the emotions are so high for Swamini, she's so much immersed in waves. She's Madana Kema Bhav and Mohan Ishringa Ras. And this meeting is about to happen so close. How can Manjari be so calm and attentive in this moment? For the emotions are so high. She is at the Bhav Ullad. So she has to be waiting for the moment for Sara happiness, Radhika's happiness. Mm. Abhisar, now I am with the Sara. Mm. Where the Sara will go, I am going. That is Manjari Abhi Sara. Sara is moving and I am moving with that. For Rasova Sara. Sometimes Sara is flowing from her. Her Rasova Sara is a Radha Shama Kunda. Mm. Shara is flowing to the Rasovaisa, and Sara is moving to Rasovaisa, that is Avisar. And Manjari is, is moving with Sara to Rasovaisa. Sara is moving now to Avisar. Meet with the Rasovaisa. So Manjari has to hold this. Yeah. Careful. He's a full of reserve. Why? He's full of love. Can move. You see? 
that's a vision. Good. If maybe they are so much in this seva ras that they will not forget themselves like Radha and Mohan. Radha and Mohan, they can they forget, will forget Radha. themselves. Only they will never forget. forget <laughs> Radha not forget Mohan. Hmm. But Mohan is so blind, he can't even see she's in front of him. That's the point. Brother. Even he needs the mercy of the maid servants. Wow. Serious. Yes. Why maid servants help? Because they want to see. How last see. They want anxiously waiting for Bahu last So they hand over to see the bus. When the Krishna will be closed and see want to see the feeling of Radhika when Radhika get his Mohan, what is the feeling of Radhika? That is Bahu last Rather, I want to listen why you catch me. <laughs> Actually, Guru, if I'm sandwiched, sorry, between you and Gora Chandra, so I'm floating between two waves. <laughs> I want to listen. Okay, we we continue reading a bit. We start. We start now with the explanations of this verse. Actually, when I saw the verse, Gurudev, I said, oh my God, it has like so many pages. I was I was anxious that we will manage. You see a very nice Very beautiful movie. His Varupa wish. Gopina, this is material for many Zooms, actually. Why yes. should we stop only on this one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my God, Sundar also yeah. In the association of Rasika Vaishnavas, Guruda says one line already is a subject for whole meditation, right? So this is a beautiful uh, example today that actually one line can take us so deep by Gurudev's mercy and Anantadas Babaji's beautiful explanations. His Swarupa Vesh is his only support. In it, he can relish Swamini's form, qualities, and pastimes. In his Varupa Vesh, she can relish Swamini's form, qualities, and pastimes. Because of his divine madness, of love, he's unable to find words to express his experience. Whatever he could bring under words, he has revealed in this Vilap Kusumanjali. All cannot be a word, cannot be revealed. Well, we cannot be but we have to only experience hmm. their feeling. That is Bhavulasati. It becomes worse. It's very difficult. The Mahajan can make the words. Many things in Bhavulasati, there is no words you can write. Is Mahajan mercy that they create the words for hint for us. That's the mercy of Mahajan. Yeah. So, always Manjiri, Rati Manjiri walks backside of Mahajan. 
And you see, the original, sometimes Sadhu is in front, sometimes left, right, and back. If you see the original, take the original up and see the Sadhu, they can go left, right, back, and front. Sadhu can do with original, but Sadhu, this Manjari Bhav will always follow the Mahajan. When the Mahajans are there, they will be backside. Mahajan Gata Sopantra. What Mahajans say, what they do, that is the way of Manjari. So they never leave their Guru Manjiris. They are the navigator how to move and which direction to go. I say one day, think that when the navigator works to bring you to the goal, after that navigator not working, right? When you reach the goal, navigator starts. When you reach the goal, then navigator start because we don't know after that what to move, how to do service. The navigator is more important. Yeah. So every moment you need the navigator, I cannot do know what to do after that. Gurudev, Gurudev, this morning, this morning I was reading in the Brahma Bhakti Chandrika Baba uh, definition of Mahashaya. What is what is the meaning of, of Mahashaya, great soul? So Baba is saying, a Mahashaya is one who takes shelter at Swamini's lotus feet. I love this very much. Mahashaya. Mahan is a very elevated souls. They are the Mahasya. Who is realized person, they are Mahasya. In the words also we say, Mahasya, how are you, sir? How are you? But this Mahasya is only used in that who is realized in his sarupa ways in the service of some, they are Mahas. Who always live in the bhav lakshrati, they are Mahas. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Can I also add a little? Yes, we are waiting for you. This morning in the, it was Russian class, we spoke about a uh, uh, verse. There was the meaning of essence, that Radhika is the essence of uh, different things like uh, sweetness and so on, the essence. And then we have to think about what is the essence. The essence is a concentrate, concentration of something, right? Concentrate. Yeah. So um, we cannot get the essence because we are not able to um, schmecken, to taste essence. Actually, this is too much. Essence is too much to uh, get the taste. For example, juice. If there is an essence of juice, you cannot digest or drink this directly. You need someone who make it um, passant. 
You have to add some water. So some water. You need someone who who make it. Uh, uh, the concentration. So and this is also what we now speak about. We we need this self-realized souls to get into Radharani's world because it is described she is the essence. We cannot digest this. We cannot reach essence. We need someone who make it uh, possible to us to get it. And for this, we need the Guru and the self-realized souls. They make the essence for us um, relishable, yeah, tasty. tasty and relishable. And this is a deep meaning in this verse, essence. For a normal soul, essence is not possible. We cannot get it. But if we find a self-realized soul who make it uh, a faba. Experienceable or accessible. Ex yes or accessible, then we can get it. And because of this, we need the Guru who can handle this essence, this, this concentrate power of Swamini and this self-realized souls who are uh, able to handle this essence, this concentrate feelings and um, qualities. So this is what I like to add from the morning because we read about the essence. And um, so I realized for this, because Radhika is the essence of everything, we need someone who make it relishable to us. And these are these Mahajans and self-realized souls. Radhe, Radhe. Uh, oh, my dear friend, Rupa Mantri. No. Because of his divine madness of love, he's unable to find words to express his experiences. Whatever he could bring under words, he has revealed in this Vilap Kusumanjali, Srimati Radhika will surely come to console he who is weeping over her and for whom she is everything and take him to her lotus feet. Radhika will surely come to console who is weeping over her and for whom she is everything and take him to her lotus feet. When will this weeping start? I feel what Gora said when she becomes the essence and she and we understand that she's the essence, then maybe some tears will come. But also I feel in the association with Mahajans, with our Guru Dev, reading and sharing together, this feeling slowly, slowly can arise in our heart that we understand that we are lifeless without her. And maybe some some form of crying can happen that she can hear us like when a baby is crying for the mother the mother runs immediately right gurudev always uses this example but gurudev this baby never cries how can you make the baby cry so that mother can hear gurudev <laughs> A baby playing 
इन चॉइस दैन नॉट करना है बिकॉज शी इज बिजी विद दैट चॉइस शी इज प्लेइंग इन दिस मेटेरियल ए विद दैट चॉइस लाइक वी टू But the moment we become hungry, greed is coming. By Mahajan say, by listening and by chanting, then we cry. Baby also cry when they are hungry. when they feel the greed to eat something more to too much trust to your hungry then they cry we have to feel trusty and hunger for missing that then we cry and then Mother, not wait for anything. She ran and take us. This is the mercy of our Radhika. She cares all the time to us. but here we are talking about the essence essence is the point when it's thing or very condensed mm. you cannot use without mixing something mm. it's so condensed that is not a, without mixing something you will not use using useful so what mahajans do they make the mix with the, their ideas like now you are sharing in different different way so that way what contents of radhikas radhika what is the essence one more what is the concentrate concentrate go le no that is the this is one word english or sanskrit english as in the patanji how intense what intense, is intense what what is that word condensed dense gurudev this huh condensed huh ah no <laughs> intense pain of love is supposed no 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 this is different 28 ha 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 ma so means um, very 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 concentrated very concentrated i just read the mind for this report is a very very concentrated <laughs> very concentrated so ma yeah. to understand that <laughs> by sharing their feelings hmm um, this one aspect of crying i was just feeling if i cannot cry then when you sit next to somebody who is crying you also start crying no like yesterday i saw this one devotee was leaving and she was crying so much and then 
Und Gita und Shamna also started to cry and they couldn't stop it. They couldn't control and didn't know why they were crying. So we cannot cry. We have to sit to somebody who really cries for Swamini Gurudev. Yeah, oh, Thank yeah. you, Gurudev. Yeah, oh. <laughs> you are crying. This is a crying school. This is a school of crying, how to cry. <laughs> Thank you, Gurudev. You. you are crying for us. <laughs> Because we don't know how to cry. Only for material we're crying, but not for the real, for the essence. Maybe we can cry, but we cannot cry. This is what Krishna Chandra said once to us. Cry that you cannot cry. At least cry for that. But not even that is possible. So we have to sit next to somebody who is crying all the time. Then maybe we also start melting our Heart of stone can also start crying the Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Shri Radhe Jai Shri Radhe Jai Guruji. So, I don't want to work. <laughs> but your teaching, I know, was not so jealous. I want. No, everybody is speaking so nicely. I don't need. I was not, not complete. Not complete. Not complete. So, Gurudev, I was just to. Everybody is. So, Gopinata Bhaiya saying, Sambanda Abhidya Yojana. I was also meditating. This our Sambanda is Radha Dasi. Also our Sambanda is Uya Rupanuga, Uya Dasi of our Guru Manjari. Our Abhideya is to, to, to bring Swamini to, to, to Mohan. Our Prayojana is Nikunja. Also Nikunja Seva. And this bus, I was feeling this, the play globe, Nikunja is decorated by Shri Hari. Generally speaking, Manjari decorate or Swami decorate. But this time, Mohan was thinking, I should decorate for Swami because so tasty. This is mood of like Mahaprabhu a little bit. Wow. So this is mood of Mahaprabhu I feel I felt. And then wide eyed goddess Radhika, who is immersed in wave desire, because Moha is decorating for, for, for me. Completely Radhika is ecstasy. Complete mud, complete full of desire. So this is also Mohan is thinking. Mohan is waiting Swamini. Also Mohan is feeling how Manjari is serving Radhika. So, so that is Mahaprabhu want to taste Radhika's mood, also Manjari's mood. Yeah. So, so Gopinata by saying this bus is describes Rupanuga. True. And Gurudev is wonderful describing in Buraja. Raganuga means Rupanuga. But for us, we don't know. So Nara Maharaj was following Pabupada, helping especially Western devotee. So therefore, Narayan Maharaj was describes Raganuga Bhakti and also Rupanuga Bhakti. That is Gurudev was, was very kindly showing us. And we are so much grateful. Rade, Rade. Thank you very much. Jananda Ji, my God, you just touched this amazing point. Mohan is taking the position of a maidservant now. 
decorating the kunja. This is amazing. It's beautiful meditation now. He's decorating. Normally the maid servants decorate. This is really Mahaprabhu showing us that even to taste this Manjari Bhav, even Krishna is trying to understand this and he's decorating. Thank you. So beautiful. That's we are it. only hoping that he is doing well. This is the last Bangladesh says this is the very essence, condensed essence. What is that word? I forget. Condensed essence is. No, there is a very nice 28 feet Rasa Sar Huh? No, in English, content, content, content. In the essence, syrup, Gurudev, syrup, syrup. syrup. <laughs> syrup. <Yeah>. No, great. <laughs> the very content, my, my very, very concentrate. Concentrate. No. What yeah. do you say? This print essence. Quintessence. Ah, yeah, Quint. Oh, Quint. 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 Now we got it. My God, Su Devi, why are you were hiding? <laughs> Quint. He's a Quint. Quint. He should uh, condense that Quint. 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 It's a honey wine, Gurudev. Honey wine. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Something understand, and we become mad with that. Radhe Radhe. Jananda Maharaj ki jai. You are not. You cannot hide, Baba. I want to hide, but someone as a guru dev is telling me. No way for me. You're finding him. I want with your words also. Tomorrow is a German class, right? Yes. So you have to prepare my Jaiho. Vilapa Kusmanjali 99 to tomorrow, so you can read tonight before you sleep. <laughs> Gauravani, Gauravani will guide us. That is the the point essence. Some some something. Point essence. Point essence. Essence is a very difficult to mix and mix and mix. And it's a point essence. Yeah. My God. Yeah. I wanted to say something, but maybe yeah. I have to... Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Short. We can... Give us the quintessence for us. I remember when Guru is speaking about Nitya Siddhas, the Saran Siddhas, and the Kripa Siddhas. And he going deep in the subject to understand what... Where the Shastra writing about the Kripa Siddhas, others always describe, and then he go deep in the subject, and then Narayan Maharaj appear to him and then say to him, you don't understand all the books. No, no, I said this word. I did. Yes. You were there. Yes. This is the, the I was in the basement. Yeah. 
lying on the bed. I was lying on the bed. In the, in Somewhere. my bhajan and like what? I say, where you write it about the Kripa Siddha? Are you foolish? Foolish. Foolish to me, uh -huh. like you are very dear to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you foolish? You still you don't understand? How I can write about this? The whole books is writing about the capacitors. Wow. All the books are written only by how they get from the mercy they are writing. How I can write in one book? And These all this, are not sufficient. This is quintessence. This, this is the quintessence. This is the quintessence. There are many books. Wow, you clear it. All they say huh? only about quintessence. Yeah. Because Shastra is so huge, all the Vedas and this and that, and then condensed coming to the Gloria Siddhanta. And the book Vilapusha Manjali is not long, mm -hmm. 100 slokas. And he only, he only could put somehow something into words what cannot be described. Uh, uh. But still everything is there that we can relish and realize. Quintessence is quintessence there yeah. for Kripa Siddha. Kripa. So Kripa Siddha. Kripa. Nitya Siddhas are there. They are the Sakis. And Sadhan Siddha, 15,000 years up. Rishi, Mahasi, Richa, Puran, Vedas. <laughs> <coughs> they are Nitya Siddha. What about Kripa Siddha? Then it's a foolish, you don't understand how I can write in one paragraph or one book. The whole book is only written for Kripa Siddha. How by mercy they receive Kripa. Wow. Yeah. Then Narayan Maharaj. Yeah. Yeah, if you quintessence, quintessence means also in medical term that this medicine is a very powerful. You take only one drop of that, and from a very sick state of condition, like we are souls in Kali you. But we only take a drop of this quintessence. We can make a jump in short lifetime to go to perfection. Yeah. It doesn't take 15,000 years of sarana. By the taking drop of quintessence, immediately, boom, darkness become light. <laughs> and Vilab Kusumanjali, every verse actually bears the quintessence. If we properly can be guided, then each line actually has the quintessence. No, Guru, then. Every syllable. Every syllable. Every year. I am listening this book from 74, 75, 76, 80s. In 80s, we are sitting and reading closed doors. Two person, Mohan Baba and me. Wow. And it's still for me is a new, everything is new and fresh. I don't know that I read uh, maybe 500 times I listen to the same thing. It's so quick this. So what? We, we need more than this. I recommend Radhara Sudhanidhi. Why I say? Because we need the Radharani Isthadev. So by reading Radhara Sudhanidhi, you can fix your Isthadev. 
if you not do it and read how to make your sarupa sai. And this teaching is both you start from Radhana Sudhanidhi about your sarup and slowly, slowly practice to fix in your sarupa. Two things is to dev and your sarup. Like the like the quintessence. Oh, yeah. Teach today. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. <laughs> quintessence. Like, like, like Jesus. Yes. <laughs> and it can go to the heart only. Wow. Not to here. Wow. Yeah. So, it is not subject of knowledge. It is a subject of heart. Feelings, rather.